This is another Model 12 Winchester Skeet Grade. It has different barrels on it. This one here is full choke. This is a 28 gauge. It has a cuts compensator on it. It has a elevated plain sight. It has two ivory beads on it. The ventilated drip up there, the elevated ventilator drip. Now this is 28 gauge. You can see there. This has extra good wood on it. Serial number is down there. Right there below the one area, this is a skeet gun. This came with a cuts compensator on it, installed. The elevated ventilated drip. Now, I haven't shot this thing in a long time. This is one of my favorite guns to take hunting with me. I've got a, I put a Magnum recoil pad on it to reduce the recoil on it. It has a recoil reducer in the stock also. And this little gun shoots, it doesn't kick as hard as the 410 does. We're going to look out there and we're going to try to bust a couple of those uh, clay pigeons out there. These are the shells. They're a little larger than a 410. It has 7 eighths of an ounce of shot. It's the same amount of shot in this as I have in my 12 gauge. We're going to load this. This was called the perfect repeater a long time ago. Get these shells in there to stay. Well, it'll work on that like this. This gun is almost new. Let's see if we can bust those. This is full chunk, 28 gauge. Fumbling today. Got a little piece of a shell out there hanging, or a. There it went. That one was just barely hanging on there. There you go. Model 12 skeet gun, 28 gauge. Supposedly. Andy Devine's a gun. Andy Devine was part of the, of the Los Angeles Duck Club in Bakersfield, California, actually between Arvin and Old River. And uh, when he gave up here, quit hunting, he donated his guns to the Bakersfield Gun Club. And this is supposed to be one of those guns. They were a 12 gauge, which I have, a, 28, a, 20 ga a 12 gauge, a, a 16 gauge, a 28 gauge which I have and there was a 410 which I saw but I, di I didn't get it I, I was too slow thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the little shooter ammo here